Welcome back to my channel. I'm finally sitting down to film this get unready with me skincare routine video. I've actually sat down to film this video like a total of four or five times. Skincare to me is so important. So I'll find one thing that I said wrong or like one thing that I skipped and I just delete the entire thing because I want to give you guys the best of my skincare routine like step by step. I don't want to skip anything. So with that being said, I want to get all of this off my face right now. It's irking me. Like, it's so dark that I'm looking at myself in the monitor and it's like, ugh, I just want to peel it off. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is take off my lashes. I'm going to take off my runways, although they look absolutely fabulous. I'm going to go ahead and take them off so that I can further remove my eye makeup before anything. So... I'm just gonna peel from inner corner to outer corner. I'm just gonna put them back in the casing. I'm just gonna put that away. And here we are, nearly naked eyes. So something new that I've been doing is I've been taking off my makeup with makeup wipes first and then going in with the makeup cleanser. And for the wipes, I've been using the Olay Fresh Effects Everything Off Deluxe Makeup Removal Wet Cloths. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my eye makeup. Oh my God. I wanted to film this skincare video after the smoky look because I thought that it was more effective to show you guys after a dark look than like a basic look because there's nothing really to take off. But if you have like heavy liner, like black shadow and stuff, you really see like there's no residue. Like this takes off like 80% of your eye makeup. Obviously, it's not going to be perfectly removed. So I'm going to take the second makeup remover wipe and I'm going to go into cleaning my face. A lot of people just use wipes and they don't go in with that cleanser right after. And what they don't know is that when you take Take off your makeup only with a wipe you're just leaving makeup in your pores and that's what causes breakouts that's what causes dry skin and any other skincare problems that you might be having also just removing face makeup with a wipe is very convenient because it gets all those like nooks and crannies like the hairline and the temple and the ear that you wouldn't normally get when you cleanse your face because you're wearing a headband or you just don't go that far or anything else Okay, so that's done. I've removed like 70% of my makeup with the wipe. Now I'm just gonna put my hair up and I'm gonna go in with my favorite cleanser ever. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, which you should, you know that the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser is my favorite cleanser of all time. Like I will never switch cleansers. Not only does it remove super heavy makeup, like I didn't even used to use a wipe and it would remove everything like to the T with no residue. I don't have bad dark circles because of this cleanser. I used to and now they're just gone. So I go in with the wipe first. I get everything off the surface of my face and then the cleanser will go in and remove all residue and just get everything out of my pores. So that's the key, which is step number one, I guess, in thoroughly removing your makeup. You go in with the wipe and then with the makeup cleanser or face cleanser, makeup remover, whatever you want to call it, something that will not only go on the surface but go into your pores. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go into my Banish starter kit and I'm going to be using the pumpkin enzyme mask to just kind of refresh my face and replenish it with all the nutrients that it needs now that I've cleansed it and my pores are ready to accept these nutrients. So another thing, I teamed up with them to do a small little giveaway once I did my skincare video, which is why I'm so excited to do it now. So I will be giving away a Banish starter kit, which is this right here, to a random person, I guess, who has subscribed, liked this video, and commented under this video saying one important step in their own skincare routine or one important step that you'd want to copy from mine. So all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, send me a screenshot that you've done both of those things, and then comment under this video one important step in your skincare routine that you love the most or one important step in my skincare routine that you're going to take on. All right, getting back to basics, I'm going to be using the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask on my entire face. Um, I really like using this. It makes me feel really refreshed and my skin just feels really hydrated afterwards. So I'm just going to be taking a small crown oval foundation brush, I guess, and I'm just going to be digging into this mask and applying it all over my face. Oh my god. Now, usually I leave this on for like 15 minutes, but I do have really sensitive skin and what this does it like you literally feel it not burning, but you feel it tingling because your skin does really absorb like the mask. 
So I leave this on for like five minutes and then I just take it off. So I'm not like super red. So I've just removed the pumpkin enzyme mask. I only left it for like seven minutes, I think. And I already felt it tingling a little bit too much and I have really sensitive skin. So I am not leaving it longer than that once I feel it tingling. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go in with another cleanser, but this is going to go really deep into my pores. This is the Origins Zero Oil Deep Pore Cleanser with Saw Palmetto and Mint. And this literally bubbles into your pores and you feel the foam just sinking in and taking everything out like this is such a nice cleanser it feels so good and you can just really feel the effects while you're washing your face and afterwards your face just feels like you got fresh out of a facial it's super super good this really takes all the dirt out of my nose this is actually how I avoid blackheads this is super good so I'm just gonna go cleanse my face with this you literally only need like a drop of this and then you activate it with water you just start rubbing it into your nose and working your way into the face I use very little amount of my cleansers because that's all you need so now I'm gonna go cleanse my face with the origin zero oil cleanser and I'll be right back I'm back <laughs> I just cleansed my face with the origin zero oil cleanser I did not know that my face could feel any cleaner like I can't exaggerate enough like my face feels so clean my nose is shiny like I have natural highlight now my face is actually kind of red because I did go in on the cleansing but other than that my face is feeling so good already look how smooth it looks like it's so tight too it doesn't like it just bounces right back to place. It feels so nice. So to follow up with the Origin Zero Oil Cleanser, I'm gonna be using the Zero Oil Pore Purifying Toner. Now that my pores are already cleansed, this is just gonna go into the pores a little bit more, I think. And normally, like, you guys saw how much I cleanse my face. Now let's see if there's any residue. Usually I'd clean my face with three cleansers, you guys just saw that, and there'll still be residue. I mean, I'm sure that there's a ton of residue like in my neck, cause I didn't really think about cleaning my neck but the good thing about this toner is that it gets everything off it even acts as like a makeup remover so i'm just gonna go on my neck and chest because i know i applied some makeup there it's gone that's all i had to do so this got any residue off it actually whew. so this not only tones my face but it got off any residue that i had and it just made me feel 10 times more clean if possible <laughs> So the toner just acts as kind of like that second sweep of skincare. It kind of just like takes out residue, it seeps into your pores, like my face is actually a little bit more tight, like I poke it and my eyes go down, like it's super tight, super clean, so let's keep going. And now I'm going to go in with the Vitamin C Beauty Elixir, I'm just gonna spray that, ooh! onto my fingers and just rub it in. Now the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Vanished Rolly thing. I forgot the name of what this is. I know it's a rolly thing and I know you're supposed to freeze it and I know it's super good, but I will link the name down below or I'll put it right here so you guys can look for it because it's not in the starter kit, but it's so, so good and it's so essential in my skincare routine now. So what this does is you're supposed to freeze it for 30 minutes or more. I've kept it there for a long, long time because I froze it for 30 minutes, I guess, and then I used it and I just kept it in the freezer so it's always cold and always available for me. So it's super frozen, like there's ice on it a little bit and it's super funny because it squeaks so I'll roll it and all you hear is it's so funny okay whatever freeze it it's supposed to be cold you're supposed to roll it on your face and it's supposed to help with puffiness and redness which for me I have super red and sensitive skin and I have some puffiness under my eyes like always and this just like tightens my face and it feels super good so And just to not leave my lips behind, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my Tarte Maracuja Oil and mm, apply them on my lips. Just rub that in to hydrate my lips. And there you have it. That is my entire skincare routine from makeup removal to preserving my face. And honestly, my face just feels so good. I haven't done my entire skincare routine in about a week or so, and I was definitely needing it. I feel so good, I feel refreshed. And honestly, I just feel confident in my skin. I think the most important thing in skincare is just doing it for yourself. Doing it because you know that at the end of your routine, you're gonna look good, you're gonna look glowy, you're gonna feel yourself. 
and honestly I couldn't be happier with the way that I look with and without makeup I sometimes prefer myself with makeup sometimes without it and most of the time it's without it because I'm just so comfortable in my skin because I made it that way so it just feels so good to know that you know my face is clean my dark circles are gone my lips are like plump and glowy and, and I just, I don't know, like you can kind of see my confidence through my skin. If somebody takes care of themselves, like you know that they're happy with themselves. So it's super important to just take care of yourself because that will show how much love you have for yourself. And that's the first step in actually looking good, like actually looking and being happy and confident. It's just making it that way. Like you want to look good, you go do it. You go look good. You get your skin looking glowy. You go get, you invest in good skincare. You you know follow through with it and just taking that time to sit down and care for your face it's so good for you it just makes your heart feel so happy it's like that's your one-on-one -on -one time like you know that you're doing that because it's gonna benefit you in the end and it's gonna make you happy so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this little journey and getting unready with me I will see you guys next time don't forget about that giveaway comment like subscribe do everything you gotta do to get your skincare and start the journey so that's it I gotta go. I'm gonna go sleep now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do everything you gotta do to see more of me. Mwah.